welcome back to episode number four of Illum a Nation. And we're really excited with what we're going to share with you today. My name is Gavin. And I'm Megan. And today's video is called Nine Ways to Increase the Energy in Your Home or Office to Make It More Happy and Healthy. So I, I opted for nine ways to own your home, but Gavin nixed it. He said it was too cheesy, so sorry. <laughs> it wasn't going to show up in the search engine very well with that <laughs> That's one. That's what it's right? No about. one does searches for that, right? <laughs> so, so number one, okay, is meditation. And I know, you know, a lot of people look at this different ways. It could be prayer. It could be just, you know, bringing positive, you know, thoughts to a situation. Um, but, but meditation, we've been doing, gosh, 20 years? Well, yeah, I'm better than we me. We have 20 years honest. and stuff, but... Consider this a huge part of you know our life and happiness. Um, we both have spaces that we meditate, and we would recommend that to you. And in, in fact, you know most people can go and find information on like how to meditate. But what we think the best app we've come across is this um, app called Insight Timer. It's free and it's guided. So when you first start, you know meditating, it's hard. To like, you know, not have thoughts on all the, you know, to-do lists for that day and everything that you're supposed to be doing. So this guided meditation of your choice in a lot of different categories, it just does a great job of getting you, you know, to let go, to get in a better vibration, and you know, to really prepare you for the day. It's a big part of my morning meditation. So well, and the nice thing about that app is that you can set like how much time you have so if you have more time you can kind of choose a category that you know 10 to 20 minutes if you just have a few minutes before you're you know running out the door even you know three to five minutes is you know sufficient to sit down and just kind of get centered for the day so you can kind of customize that search engine for yourself which is really nice yeah so. it's cool there's days that i'm like i've got the time and i do like a 50 minute meditation and there's days yeah it's like three or four minutes right <laughs> so no, there's, right. Like, you know, there's people who do it for a, a long time so not me <laughs> <laughs> Five, 15 minutes, that's all I can um, do at this point. So moving on to number two, um, as anyone who knows us, we have been a huge advocate of essential oils for over a decade. Um, and, you know, we use them medicinally, therapeutically when our kids aren't feeling well. Um, but also it's great to use them when everyone's, you know, happy and healthy. Uh, there are certain oils that kind of can improve your mood, Personally, I like a lot of the citrus blends. I know other people who like more of the cinnamony type smell. So we use a diffuser in several places in our house just to, you know, make us feel happy and increase the positive energy in whatever area we're in with the essential oils in the diffuser. The amount of essential oils we have is a little cray cray. We have like it's two like, yeah, well, full like boxes. Yeah, I can show you a, a shot. We use plus, it all probably. the time. Like she said, when we first got into it, I was kind of like, oh, what's Megan doing now? You know. But we swear by it. We've had great results, you know, personally and with our kids. So. You're a believer now, right? You got it. Yeah. And, and we actually have um, some links in the description we're going to share with you some, for some diffusers, okay? Because there's that, lots of different types, yeah. Exactly, mm -hmm. of where to go get those and, like, the best kind, okay? Mm -hmm. So number three, okay, of the nine ways to increase the energy in your home or office to make it more happy and healthy is um, Himalayan salt lamps. Now, we're not going to go through <laughs> that. You're like, oh, no, we're not the Himalayan salt lamps shocker. again. <laughs> right, shocker. Um, we're big believers in that, but we just created a video um, uh, all about that. We'll have that in the description of the notes, but we're not going to go into detail with that. We will spare you with that. So. <laughs> <laughs> Number right. four okay. uh, is music. Uh, we Much like how many um, salt lamps we have, we have a lot of... Uh, Google Homes for our our house, all over the house. Each of the kids has one. Gavin has one in his bathroom or our bathroom. He has one in his office. So we have almost as many Google Homes as we do uh, lamps, yeah. uh, Himalayan salt lamps in our house. So. No, I just, I feel like you can choose music for the mood you want to like instantly create. You know, when I'm working, I usually have some classical music in the background. If it's like later in the day and I'm about to be done, you know, I play some upbeat music. Today's pop hits, man. <laughs> right? Start doing the dance. I was going to play a song and like do some dancing and Megan Nick say that. No dancing. Like, no, yeah. No, no, yeah. Yeah. And the, the one that he secretly listens to that now is not a secret is um, show tunes. So yeah, a little tidbit about That's, Gavin. It's really not, loves musicals. It's not, it's not cool. <laughs> That publicly on this video. Okay, no, I'm not ashamed. Um, and number five, actually, you know, on the on the music, there's one more thing I want to say. We, I have uh, Google Home, okay, like she mentioned, but like Alexa from Amazon is a great one. And those, the the quality, I I like both of those because um, you can just play whatever you want right there on the spot. You know, you don't have to do much. 
Um, but there's a, a speaker called Sonos that is now with Alexa, and they're not too you know too crazy expensive. We'll have a you know link for that too. But it's a great quality speaker and has Alexa, so you can tell it what music you want to play. Yeah. So number five, sunshine <laughs> and brightness. This is my turn. That's why she's looking at me. So we're you know we usually we go on a lot of walks together, right? So that's an outside thing. But you know in every room, part of the reason why we did this here is we really like to be in the light. So we try to have like all our blinds open, you know, have lights on and stuff because, you know, it's been proven that that, you know, increases your not only energy, but your happiness, mm -hmm. right? And, you know, to get in front of the sun is a big deal. Mm -hmm. So um, if you're, you know, we work from home, so we have home offices, but if you're at work, you know, try to do everything you can to, to either go outside, if you can't, you know, have a window with the, the sun, but get, you know, around some light and some sunshine mm -hmm. as much Even as you can. If lunch break or whatever, get outside, you know, right. breathe, breathe some fresh air. That'll increase the, the energy. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. Number six is near and dear to my heart is declutter. If anyone who knows me knows I hate clutter, I love to organize things. And I think that is huge in your home. If you have a lot of stuff sitting around, it does take up energy and space. Um, and the more that you kind of eliminate a lot of those things and just keep the things in your life that you really love and have positive memories for you, uh, definitely a great way to like improve the energy of your home. So get rid of all the junk you have sitting around, toss it, donate it, recycle it, all that good stuff. And early in our relationship, there was a lot of fights over this because I was not the most cleanly or organized. And I fought her like it's no big deal. But now having been married to her for like 18 years, I don't think it's like 18 it years. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that, you know, I really buy into it too. And I'm not quite at the level she is. Like in my, <laughs> my office on the surface, like, oh, you come in, it's like really clean. And then you start going in some drawers. Not so not, clean. Not so great. <laughs> not so great. But I'm working on it. And that's the thing I want to say is like all these things, we're, you know, working on these things and we're applying these and doing these things, but it's like everything's a work in progress. Yeah, there's no mastery right? yeah. for any of these things. Yeah, yeah it's just always a process. Right, and yeah. in fact, that leads us into the next three, okay, seven through nine, is that these, we're not that good at these or even doing these much at all, but we want to, you know, add them to our arsenal and we want to share them with you. Yeah, well, one of the things that I've just been seeing a lot recently is the number idea, seven. oh yeah, number, there we go, number seven. <laughs> Um, is smudging or saging your home to just kind of eliminate negative energy, um, to increase the positive vibes in the house, basically, because, you know, you come in and for us, we, you know, move to a new house every couple of years and there's old energy there from, from past um, owners or occupants. And so one thing that I kind of want to look into, I'm still kind of researching, is the whole smudging and saging process in a home or office just to kind of clear the... the negative energy and I'm hoping we can do like a video about that because you can buy ones that are already pre-made they even have them on Amazon um, which I'm kind of thinking that I might try already a pre-made one but I've also seen that people make their own you know so that might be kind of a fun thing yeah. to share down the road so keep your eyes open if and we make a video about that in the future I'm looking forward to that because I know nothing about it <laughs> Doesn't I don't know what have that anything means. to add to that <laughs> so we're gonna go straight into number eight okay reduce electronics and we've kind of you know touched on this on, on past ones but our kids were really working on this I mean you know they're always on their phone and electronics and stuff and like getting them off of that so we've got some videos we're going to do in and the not future. just the kids let's yeah. be honest yeah we're yeah. we could be a lot better yeah. with this I we're mean it's like phones. it's an addiction in our country and in the world right and it's not like life is happening is that really what you want to be doing but also you know just being around your computer and all those electrical electromagnetic frequencies EMFs. Um, yes mm -hmm. it's not great for you right mm -hmm. so uh, get away from your computer as much as you can and um, in, in electronics and it's gonna be very there actually are devices that you can put on electronics and your phone that help dissipate some of those yeah. negative uh, waves that you're getting so that's some other things that we may touch on in yeah. the future and but, Himalayan yeah. salt lamps help with that too mm -hmm. yet um, yeah, there's like some stickers and all that yeah. stuff, so we'll, we'll yeah. leave some links on that too. Yeah, all and right. share more maybe down the road. Um, and the last one, number nine. And this is a big one for, I mean, she's I'm kind of on a kick about, about this right now, but there's a kind of a 
big problem with it. Number nine is incorporating more plants and living flowers inside your home. And we all know why. I mean, you know, we learned this in sixth grade about, you know, how they take out uh, carbon dioxide out of the air and more oxygen. And so, you know, beyond just kind of the scientific part of it, you know, they're living things that are breathing and, and releasing good energy in your home. But my problem is I always feel like I kill them. So I hate to invest money and then kill the poor plant. So we do have a lot of succulents, so we're starting, you know, because those are really hard to kill. But I want to do some more research about ones that, you know, are a little easier to keep alive. So if you have some suggestions to yeah. send my way to get me started, because uh, I'm feeling a little nervous about yeah. incorporating plants. Because and then all these things. Like, we want to kill wanna, them. We want to hear from you, you know. So, like, how are you using any of these nine what are additional things? You know, we we we're gonna possibly talk about candles. What are some other things that we had on the list? I mean, we just it didn't make the nine and stuff. But we'd like to hear from you. Like, what what are you using that is helping your home be more healthy and happy and abundant, right? So increasing the vibration, mm -hmm. right? How are you owning your home? Yeah. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> Exactly. So, so that's what we wanted to go through with you all today. We actually I would love for you to join us on our Facebook page. If you have it, please like this video when you like it and like more people get to see it. If this was helpful to you, leave a comment, subscribe. There's a button to subscribe to this and that way you'll know future videos. And we're really, you know, if you haven't come across this before, really trying to help families, you know, live their, their healthiest life and, and be happy. And, um, you know, there's, there's just a lot of busyness that happens in, in the world, but we all have responsibilities. And so you have to be diligent and highly intentional about the life you want to create. So that's what we want to help with. And this holds us accountable to do the same. <laughs> yes, right? definitely. Yes. So we'll look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. See you later.